One of the most famous custom ROM named as Evolution XOS, there are two versions available Android 12, sorry, Android 13 based and Android 14 based. Which one you should try out and which are the differences, the similarities and differences. We will talk about some of the things in this video, so stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end. The version in my right side is version based on Android 13 and my left side which is based on Android 14. We will not talk about all of the things because things might change in Android 14 right now while making this video which is having November security pass things could be different but with the upcoming update let's see if we will if we will see some changes or not for now the default launcher is one of the major changes right now as compared to android 13 or android 14 if you use evolution xos based on android 13 you will get launcher 3 based launcher which is having some customizations for you some useful features while as if you use android 14 based Evo evolution xos custom room then you will get the pixel launcher pre-installed right now you can change it by using some magic small Modules, but not by default available same like that as expectedly if we move on to the wallpapers and styles options you will notice the new ui which was which is already introduced with android 14 we have this options available we have some lock screen clock styles available where you have approximately five or six styles i guess around seven styles options available you can change the size of the color size and color of these lock screen clocks while as in android 13 you don't have these options you only have some colors options and else themed icons kind of same and no major or differences as compared to normal android version it's same here if you move on to the ota updater in evolution xos last version which was based on android 13 ota updater was removed so if you were looking forward to update your device through ota in android 13 you can't do but in android 14 ota updater is back and as you can see in my left side i already have a new update available for my device so yes ota updater is back you can use it to update your device through ota in case if you want to in security and privacy as android 14 brings you some new features in security and privacy and one of the changes is auto confirm unlock although it this feature was already available in android 13 in evolution xos custom home as you can see quick unlock but now as it is officially available from google evolution xos will not bring you this thing they already have this feature available by default and you can use this thing on android 14 running device other options are basically same here Another difference which I found here is in the battery settings. If you click on battery usage, you will see in my left side, which is Evolution XOS based on Android 14. It is having this pixel style battery graph. And if you take a look at Android 13 style, we have the option to choose between the pixel style or the AOSP style. To be honest, I, I always use AOSP style battery graph because that gives me better UI, better experience. Although pixel style is kind of okay, okay. And uh, this is another one of the differences which we have. Other options are basically same battery temperature, battery widget have both available there. Another major difference, which is actually the most, the major difference as compared to Android 13 or Android 14 is the cloned apps and parallel space. Both of these brings you cloned apps and parallel space. You can clone apps if you want to, but in Android 14, you can simply clone apps. So for example, you can create only one instance of that particular app. While as if you take a look at Android 13 parallel space option, you have approximately five styles available. I mean, you can create five instances of that particular app, but in Android 14, you can simply create only one. The one is default, second one you can create, but in Android 13, you have you can create up to five instances of that particular app and this is one of my favorite feature as compared to Android 13 or Android 14. I will definitely choose Android 13 over that. And here if you move on to the customization section in miscellaneous, you will find allow application downgrade option which is unfortunately not present in Android 13. Quite strange, but that's okay. Other options, kind of same. Theming section also have one option named as theming settings, but other options, kind of same here. Fonts, icon back, same customizations are already available. Maybe while making this video, some customizations which are missing from Evolution XOS version based on Android 14 will be added in the upcoming updates one or two months later. If you're watching this video after two or three months, then things might be changed for you. But most of the things will definitely be same, like parallel space, cloned apps feature, wallpapers and style ui other differences i'm already showing you so these are things i just wanted to let you know if you want to install android 13 or android 14 base link is already available in the description if you like this video don't forget to drop a like and i will see you in the next one until then goodbye